in downtown Detroit. What I'm simply saying, what I'm simply saying is, we have people who will not put street, put feet to the street. I, 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 I'm just. I'm, 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 you fed up. I'm, 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 I have OD'd on this crazy, mad insanity. I'm just, I'm, I'm just sick of it. Well, listen to and, this. And, listen and, to this. and, 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 let me just tell you about those running, those, those guys on those bikes. Let me tell you what a young, was it a young, a young man said to me in a dollar store. He said, all of these stores are placed in a way so that if somebody wants to run through the alley and come in here and rob somebody, they're on main thoroughfares. But they're also, there's an alley running down beside each one of them. And they can easily come in here and rob somebody and, and keep going. Okay? Now, I still believe, and I said this the other day, our men in our communities are going to have to start acting like men. When black men in our neighborhood say no more, there will be no more. We have never really needed anybody else to police us, if you tell the truth about it. Absolutely. Okay, we've never, but when black men, and I'll tell you, black women are tired, tired of carrying our community on our backs with little help. There has been some, but not enough. So when black men stand up and say, enough, we're not having any more of this foolishness and start policing our communities, we're going to see a change. Well, Mildred Gaddis, how do you do that when, you're, when you've got a myriad of things that are changing the species? Because you, you, you listen, got, you got, you you got pick more up, females you, becoming more masculine oh. and you got more males becoming more feminine. That, let let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. That's another discussion. And it's one we can have, and I'm not afraid to have it. Although most folk get, are afraid to have it, they won't have it. You got ministers in pulpits who refuse to have it. Uh, but I'm not afraid to have that discussion. But that discussion doesn't have anything to do with the, with the one we we have right now. You pick up your book, you pick up your buckets where you are, where you are. I forgot which one of our great leaders in the past said it. And never ever be satisfied. Never be satisfied. Get the work. There's enough for all of us to do. And men have got to start saying, I'm not afraid of my people, and I'm not afraid to be a man. And we can turn this thing around. Our problem is we have not had that level of commitment. We've got, we've got, we've got black pastors in this town who have stood on principle and truth, and you've got folk downtown trying to intimidate them and retaliating against them. That's an untold story in this city who won't go along with the okie doke So I'm saying that we can do this. We have the power, we have the capacity to do it. The question is, do we have the will? That's the only question. Do we have the will? Do we have the will? For a 16 year old to think, for a 16 year old to think it's okay to pull that crap that they pulled out there today? No, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that's all I'm saying. Listen, I only have a few more minutes, so we're going to let some other folk weigh in on what you had to say. Thanks, Stay Steve. Strong. I appreciate Stay you. Bye-bye. Hi, Bernice. Hi, Nelia. Yes, ma'am. Girl, you are really on the... Oh, you, you, you're on top of it, baby. You are on top of it, Nelia. Don't you ever stop. You're on top of it. If you had... If we had... 15 more like you, we would not have the problem. You're on top of it. And I tell you, I'm sick of it too. I'm like you. I'm just sick of it. But the truth is the truth. You can't change the truth. This problem when we got is some of it, most of it is our our problem. They, they, what would they have done if they had just come out of slavery? You know, you hate, you get tired of it. And I can understand you having to listen to it all the time on that video. <laughs> oh, Bernie. Believe me when I tell you, honey. Believe me when I tell you. You, <laughs> you, you preaching to the, choir, to the choir when you're preaching to me. But, honey, don't give up. Don't give up. Mildred, it's going to get better. It's got, it's got, and like you said, the pulpit, 
It's bad. It's bad. It's bad because that shouldn't be your job. That should be their job. But you keep on doing it, honey. I'm, I'm singing with you. Okay. Take care. All right, Bernice. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Jackie. Yeah. No, Jay, how are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. That's good. Listen, I don't usually call the shows and get on these uh, talk shows about things, but I just want to say this. I listened to the guy earlier. Now, it's not the police. It's not uh, Chief Craig. It's the surrounding department. You have situations in Detroit where you put in documentation for different things that's going on in the city, and the department is not doing their job. Now, Chief Craig may not know about it, because we all know when people are in departments, they're basically working their own little system without the boss knowing. Okay, Jackie, here's what we're talking about, and I don't have a clue of what you're talking about. Here's what we're talking about. Steve was talking about how do we get our communities right-sized up again. This is a cultural thing. Mm-hmm. It's family business. We're not talking about city departments or any of that kind of stuff. We're talking about what what exists within our community to make a 16-year-old think that he can go into a gas station and grab a senior citizen, put a gun to his head, hold him hostage, go into CVS and rob some folk and hold them hostage. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about this 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 pathology that is existing within the black community in this city. We're not talking about other cities because every city has its issues. How do you get it done right in Detroit? How do you change the dynamic here? That's what we're talking about. We don't care about the politics right now. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. We're losing babies. We've got stupid black adults who are leaving guns unlocked and, 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 and in